If you're playing Starfield right now, this is a very critical video, big alert. Make sure you watch it all the way through the end. You'll thank me later. Hey there gamers, welcome back to Dead Sun Gaming. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because you're going to love this video, especially if you are a beginner in Starfield, because I'm gonna show you how to turbocharge your beginner XP farming and get quadruple XP. This is an outpost mastery guide for beginners. So if you've never built an outpost, we're gonna show you how to use one to quadruple your XP. Do you wanna quadruple your XP? Or do you wanna do it the slow way and take forever and a day to get it? No, you wanna quadruple your XP and quadruple your resources. So watch this video. Now, we are on New Jemison and we're at a spaceship. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you everything you need to do this now, and then we're gonna to travel to a location. So grab your character and follow me. I'm gonna show you exactly where we're gonna go. So again, once you land your ship here in the spaceport in New Jemison, all you basically wanna do is come from your ship and keep going. You wanna see me running around here? And what we're gonna do is we're literally going to hang a left right here, right? We're gonna go all the way up here. And literally we're looking for Jemison Merchantile. So again, we wanna find the Jemison Merchantile bu building and that it, that is it coming up right here. And so we're gonna leap up here Boom. You see it? Jemison Merchantile. So all you did was came from the starport and you just hang a left all the way around and you're gonna to come to this desk right here. Now, here is exactly what you will need to perform everything that I'm showing in this video. So I need you to be prepared. What you wanna do folks is this is only gonna cost you a very little amount of credit. You wanna bring your companion with you because in case you get encumbered or you have weapons, your companion can hold on to this. So I'm gonna to go to Adriana and I'm gonna show you what you're going to need and I'm gonna show you where you can buy it from. As a matter of fact, we're standing in the place you're gonna buy it from. So in order to pull this off, it's very critical that you get every single one of these ingredients that I'm gonna call out. So let me, uh, let me make this simple here. I'm gonna to go to resources now. You're going to need 14 aluminum. You're gonna need two beryllium. You're gonna need 10 cobalt. You're gonna need two fiber, 20 iron, 15 nickel, 16 Tuscan, and two zero wire. You can get this for under a thousand credits. So as you see here, I have more than what's needed, but if you don't have these, resources already, no problem. This is why we're at the Jemison Merchantile. So again, talk to this lady right here. Say, hey, Amoli, I need to holler at you. And Amoli's gonna say, thanks for stepping, stopping in. And she can, she's gonna accommodate you and she's gonna help you get what you need. So tell her you'd like to see what she has for sale. She's gonna say, please take a look, daddy. No, she's not gonna say it like that, but she's gonna tell you to take a look. You wanna scroll all the way down to resources. And everything that literally I told you that you need is going to be right here. You're gonna see the aluminum right here. Then if you keep going down, you're gonna see the beryllium right here. And you're gonna see the cobalt, you're gonna see everything you need right here. And she's even gonna have the zero wire. So you can buy all of this right here and you're good. So once you have done that, after you bought this, once you have bought everything you see on this screen, I'm gonna show it again. Once you bought all this stuff, you got your grocery list, all right? You can either carry it yourself or you can give it to your companion, either way. What you wanna do is after you've made your purchase, come on out of here. Just keep on following me. Keep on following me. We're taking a nice little stroll. And literally, we're going to go back to our ship. And once you get back to your ship, we're gonna pick out a planet that you're going to farm 
the living soul out of, and you're going to get quadruple XP and quadruple resources. So that's my ship here. I don't know what your ship looks like, but if you like this ship, I will link below a guide on how to get this ship. And it is a free ship and you can actually upgrade it for under 90 K and this ship is loaded. Nothing in space will touch me because I will blow it out of the sky in seconds. So once you hop on your ship, then follow me to the planet. Now, once you're on your ship, what I want you to do is get into the pilot seat and you're going to have this menu that comes up right here. All you want to do is you just want to take off. If you're on Xbox, you hit Y, it will take off and you get to see your ship leave. And there's a reason why we're taking off. I'm going to let you know that once we do. So make sure your ship is taken off and make sure you are headed off to space. So we're taking off. Your ship will look different. My ship will look different, blah, 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 whoever. So once you are in space, we're in space. What you want to do right here, what you want to do right here is you want to pause your game or you want to just do a quick save. So however you quick save, let me do a quick save right quick. However you quick save, you want to quick save right here. So quick save right here. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Now, I want to tell you the reason why I asked you to quick save. We're going to go into a little story behind this because obviously there is a huge, huge, huge difficulty in the Starfield community with this quest. And this video is going to actually help a lot of people. And let me tell you why there's such a huge difficulty. And then from there, if you follow everything I show you in this video, you should be good. Okay, let me explain something. This method is a absolutely amazing method and it will get you a lot of XP. It will get you a lot of resources and it will get you a lot of credits as well. But I didn't come up with this. This was originally came up with by a YouTuber by the name of uh, Vashi Kawao. And he had this video that came out about a month ago. But as I look through this, because I saw this myself, I see that a lot of people are having trouble with it. So let me, let me bring up the comments so you guys can see it. And it's because he did an edit that people couldn't really understand. So here we go. Um, people are saying, this is from 12 hours ago. I've tried to find this over an hour, could not find it. I think it got patched. Person says, this place doesn't exist. I look for hours. Person, another person said, I think I've seen every iteration. Once you try two or three times, it's impossible without being able to get rid of your old landing sites. Yo, it's been patched or something because I've been trying on this spot for an hour. You see all of the comments here. Um, people are saying we desperately need to coordinate the planets. The guy said, I've been searching for over 30 minutes. I've scanned around 30, 40 minutes area. And so a lot of comments, people can't find this. And there have been other people that try to make similar videos and people are still not able to find it. So that is literally a bottleneck in the Starfield community. So what I have done is I have successfully did this and I'm doing it over from scratch so you guys can see it, right? Because I understand that the video that was put out was a good video, but it didn't really resonate with everyone and people are struggling to do this in Starfield. And it's a really, really, really good method. And it's just too good not to have a good video. So I am going to make a clearer video and I'm going to show you 100% guarantee how you can get this. And the reason why I asked you to save is because it might take you a few attempts just to get it right. But I'm going to do my best to make sure I mark the spot and go very slow for you guys so you can get it because it, you can mess up as you see. And literally there have been other videos made about this. and other videos have the same amount. So I've counted probably over six or 700 people saying they can't find it. I'm going to help those six or 700 people find it. So you guys can start enjoying all the XP, all the resources and all the extra credits you're going to get because you're going to need them in Starfield. So now let's get back to the video and follow along from where I told you to save at from New Jemison. Now back to where I left you. I left you in the orbit of New Jemison. Don't move. Hit the start menu. Go to the star map. And you're going to see New Jemison right in front of you. That's New Jemison. And you're going to back out to the galaxy. And now you're going to see Alpha Centauri. You're going to see Sol. 
and then you're going to go all the way up and you're going to see the cell. What you want to do is open up the cell and the planet we're looking for is Bacel 3B. Not Bacel 3, Bacel 3B. Now, once you do that, you want to mark that planet to open it as a landing spot. You want to jump to the drive and you want to head out to Bacel 3B. Make sure you have enough fuel to grab jump and we're going to grab jump all the way to Bacel 3B. Now, once you get here, you're going to see a lot of rocks. There might be some fight, might be some crazy things going on, but you don't care about any of that because all you want to do is you want to go right into your star map and you want to make sure you are pointed at Bacel 3B and you want to scan this bad boy. Now, when you scan it, I want you to follow me where I'm at, go down to the planet. I'm looking at this during the day with the sun facing and you want to scroll all the way over and you're going to see this mass right here of iron. Okay. You see the big mass. It looks just like this. Make sure you pause the video if you need to. Now, above it, you're going to see three little veins. Let me, let me zero in for you. And next, you're going to see a faint little vein. And those are mountains, hills, and valleys, right? So over here, you see a faint little vein. I am going to put the arrow here for you. Now you see where I put my marker. You see where I put my arrow at. I'm going to back out just a little bit so you can actually pinpoint this to be at the right spot. Okay. Now look at your destination. It says Rocky Desert. You see right here? You do not want to land here where it says Rocky Desert. What you want to do is you want to make sure you move this around this area until you get the mountains. So you're going to see hills, deserts, mountains. So again, you see hills. I'm not there yet. You see rocky desert. I'm not there yet. Keep moving it. I'm, I'm not there yet. Rocky desert still not there. You want to kind of keep moving this until you get mountains. I'm at rocky desert. I'm at hills. Still not there yet. It's going to take a little time. Still not there yet. Still not there yet. Still not there. Not there, mountains, okay. You see where it says mountains? I wanna click that again. Don't land anywhere. You see where we're at. Let me, let me mark this here, hold on. Now you see where that little peak is, where that mountain kind of peaks? That's where you want to be. So again, I'm gonna go up. You see the little peak right about there? That's where you wanna be. So I'm gonna zoom back out. Now, I'm gonna move slightly because if you're off by just a touch or a hair, you're gonna land in the wrong spot. So you really wanna just kinda of stay on that little vein area like I showed. And if you're looking at this during the day, the sun will hit this correct way and you wanna be in that vein area. So I'm gonna zoom in once again, zoom in right quick. And now you're seeing the area that I'm working on landing at. It's in that little vein like right there. So I'm gonna circle it for you so you can see it. So this is the area you kind of want to play around in. You want to kind of play around in that area here. So I'm zooming back out and you just kind of want to click and click until you get in that little area of play. So you see where I'm at. You see kind of where my mouse is. I'm not really going to move here. And again, you have to be precise. That's why I'm spending so much time on this part right here. And so hopefully I get this right. So I'm going to rotate the map just a little bit and you'll see like these little three little dots up here. So you kind of want to be, you're going to see aluminum. You see these three dots right there. So you still want to stay on that vein. So I'm going to click here, click here until I get the mountain. So I'm going to go up a little higher. And so I'm going to work this area right here just with the little clicker here. And I'm just going to continue to work it, continue to work it. And I'm going to try and settle right here. So let's see what happens. So I'm confident where I'm at. I'm going to show it up. You want to make sure it says mountains. When it says mountains, hit land. And we're going to go into the landing animation and we're going to tell if we are in the precise spot or not. Again, a lot of people are missing this spot and hopefully we got it right. So if we did follow this video exactly and it looks like it looks like, dare I say it, we have gotten the precise landing spot. You can't get any more precise than this. We have landed. So we are now facing the area that we are going to put the outpost. To the right, you should see a black mountain with sand going up. Do not get out of your ship. Stay in your ship. Don't get out. Stay in your ship. And just look from your ship. And you should see the black mountain to your right. And again, you're going to look to the left. You're going to see a bunch of mountains. The right is what we're concerned about. It should be a black mountain. It should be feeding out into this landmass with black and white on it. And I do not want you to exit your ship. I want you to simply get up and stand up. So again, 
This is verification number one. We can see it from the shift view. Now we're gonna stand up in our ship. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your ass up to the window of that ship and you're gonna do verification number two. Verification number two is from the window of your ship, you should still see that black mountain. So you saw it from the ship's view. Now you're seeing it from the view of you standing up in the ship. And that is your second verification that you're in the right spot. Very important that you go through these verifications to make sure you see that black mountain, both from the ship and both standing up inside the ship. So you know that you're at the right place. Now, if your ship has a rear exit, then literally you just go around it. If it has a side, a side exit, then you just want to make sure you go around. You're actually facing the mountain. So let me just get even more specific. So I'm going to go back into the planet and I'm going to show resources. And as you see, we're on that little vein here. So we're right on that vein and that's our landing area. So you see the other three veins don't land over there. You want to land where I'm at right here. So that location is precise as you can be. You cannot get any more precise than that. Now I'm gonna show you a different type of uh, version of it. I'm gonna show you the surface map. So from the surface map, you can see the ridges and everything. You can see exactly where we landed. You will see here that we're on that little vein. You're gonna see a flat area to the right, okay? And then you're gonna see a little flat area to the left. We're not on the flat area, we're in a ridge type of area on the surface map. So the surface map is another way to verify. So again, we're verifying this three different ways. You saw the first two, this is the third way. You're gonna see the surface to the right very flat. You're gonna see the surface to the left very flat. And if you followed all these verification steps and you're looking exactly like I'm looking, you should be good. So here is a view from the map. We're right on that little vein right here, that fourth little vein, and we are right here. So I don't know how we did it. It's the first time we've landed here. I'm glad I capped it on video because now I can help so many people land at the exact precise spot they need to be in. So now folks, we're gonna exit our ship, okay? We, we have beaten the hell out of that horse. That horse is dead. So we have beaten the dead horse here and you guys should be where you're at. And if you even look out, you're gonna see little uh, smoke mountains to, uh, through your window through the side. So let's get out of here and I'm gonna show you where you need to go. Now, we're gonna be setting up an outpost. If you're on Xbox, it's very easy. All you're gonna do is pull out your scanner. Don't do it yet. I need to show you where to go to. So I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to go to. So we're exiting the rear of the ship. We're coming around the front and we wanna make sure that ship, that front view is literally facing that little uh, mountain to the right of it. So again, if you look, we're running to that black mountain. We're going to make a beeline to that black mountain. That is exactly where we're running at. And so I'm gonna stop right here in a little bit. I'm gonna turn around so you can see there's our ship. We have a clear view of it. It's kind of uh, to the angle. And so again, run towards that black mountain. Don't run away from it, run towards it. Just go to the black mountain. Go to the black mountain and keep running, keep going, walking, running, scooting whatever, just keep going there. Now, you're gonna see the other mountains here, you're gonna see ridges and everything. And again, we want to go to this black mountain and we're gonna to go to kind of the right of it, right? Okay, so make sure you go to the right of that black mountain and I'm staring at it so you guys can see the landmass. It should look exactly like this. It should have sand going up of it. It should be landmass out to the right of it. If you don't see this, that's why I ask you to save you can always go back and you can try again. If you don't see this, you can always go back and try again. That's why we saved at New Jemison. So you just go through it again and get here. But you wanna see what you're looking here. This is verification again. Pull out your scanner, hit X on Xbox, RB for scanner, X on Xbox. And we're gonna take our scanner and we're gonna walk around with our scanner and our outpost. So now you have your scanner and this little thing right here is an outpost. We need to place the outpost to get the resources. So you got your outpost out. I'm gonna show you how to get the resources. So since we gotta do a lot of walking, I'm gonna speed through this, but keep your scanner open and keep your outpost available in front of you. 
and you're gonna look at available resources. When we get to all the resources, then we're going to place it. So we wanna get about five resources. So right now we got nickel, cobalt, iron, and water. We need aluminum. So once you get the five, nickel, cobalt, aluminum, nickel, cobalt, aluminum, iron, water's not that important, but once you get it and you have it like this, then you want to confirm your outpost by hitting A on Xbox. And once your outpost is confirmed, you have it set. Now we can set our outposts up. <clears throat> now, once you have claimed your outposts, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to dive into a treasure trove of a lot of resources, a lot of XP, and a lot of credits. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to start erecting extractors. So once you have built your outpost, then all you have to do to be able to extract the resources is hit RB on Xbox, okay? Then you wanna hit X, and what's gonna happen is, it's gonna give you the opportunity to create a structure, right? So what we're gonna do is we wanna go to extractors. So make sure you're at extractors. And what you wanna do is you wanna go down here and you want to go to aluminum extractor. So it's gonna create this big extractor here. And you wanna hit the square, the double squares on your Xbox to get an aerial view. Now, we just can't put extractors anywhere. We have to be cautious where we put them. Now, one thing I want to show you is that this area around you is the limit of your outpost. So again, um, this area around you is the limit of your outpost. So again, as you see, your outpost is kind of big, but everything inside the yellow is my outpost. So you see that line, everything in here is what I'll extract. And so we're going to hit the double squares again. So we just can't put an aluminum extractor anywhere. We have to put it over a vein. So you wanna do the right stick up to zoom in, down to zoom out, you get an area view. And we need to put this inside of an aluminum vein. Now you cannot go outside of the, of the outpost, so you do have your boundaries of where it's at. So we need to find out where we have a vein at. And so again, you wanna zoom out of the whole thing. And if you see restrictions on your movement, that's because that is your outpost boundary, so you can't move outside of that. Now, a vein is gonna be very simple to find, and you're gonna see this red line. We have to stay inside this red line. I'm gonna kind of move in here a little bit. And as you see, we cannot go outside of this red line. So that is our outpost boundary. Now, we wanna find a vein. So what does a vein look like? Well, this is a vein. You see how it's blue and it's a different color? So we cannot put any aluminum extractors right here. So if you're trying to put extractors, anywhere you want to, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna get mineral, minerals. You need to put them where a vein is at, right? Just like an oil, a well. If you're digging for oil, if you put oil in the, in the middle of a, uh, of a desert and there's no oil, you're not gonna get any oil. You have to put oil well where oil is gonna be. So you have to put an extractor where the minerals are going to be. So again, there's no aluminum right here. So that's why I cannot place extractors. Most people have asked the questions, man, I can't place the extractors where I wanna place them. What's wrong? What's happening? Well, it's because you're not over a vein. So I'm going to show you what a vein is. You're going to see the area right here. This is a vein. As long as you're inside this area, you can now extract aluminum. So this is an aluminum vein. And I'm going to zoom in on it. So you see, you see I'm in the blue now. So I'm in the blue and here's my boundaries here. Okay. Okay. So this is my build area. So I'm in the blue, so I can place it anywhere inside this blue I want. And so I'm gonna to try to place it in, in a little bit more open space. So now I'm gonna place my first aluminum extractor. So I'm gonna hit build, which is A on Xbox, and we have an extractor. Now, we're not done. So just because you have an extractor, it does not mean that you are finished. We have to power this extractor. I want you to look below at this bar here it says needed power we have no power well the cool thing is that we got all those materials so we can actually build what's called power so i am going to go into build mode again by hitting b 
and we're going to go to power. Now we have solar array, but the best way to, to power your extractors is wind turbine because it only just takes wind. Now we're going to construct about three of these and that is going to give us power. So we're going to put them anywhere inside the build unit here. I'll put these out the way. And with three of these, I have nine power. So <clears throat> I have nine power and I now have my first extractor. I needed five, but three of these makes gives me nine. So now I have this working for me and I'm going to show you the beauty of this planet here. It's a very, it's a very beautiful thing. Um, let me go to build mode and delete this here. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to exit. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a bed. And what's cool is the most critical thing you can do right now is to place a bed and get some shut eye because here's where things are going to get really, really exciting. So I'm going to, you can put a bed anywhere. You will, we'll, you know, do the aesthetics later. So I'm going to put a, bed here I want to go to furniture and I'm going to place a bed and all I want to do is I want to exit and I am just going to sleep now I want you to notice something the beauty of this planet is that there are different times for different planets one local hour translates to a whopping 60 hours of universal time. That is a game changer for efficient resource extraction, which means that if I do one hour, I'm gonna get like 60 hours. So literally one hour is equivalent to more than two and a half, you know, almost two and a half days, <laughs> literally on local time. So I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go sleep. And you're gonna see something crazy happen. So after I sleep, I'm awakened, I'm feeling great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over here to, and keep in mind, if you are, if you have kids stuff or if you have anything this time, then that time that goes by will speed up things that happen to you normally. So if you had a mortgage or whatever, you can speed a week up. So this planet literally speeds time up. So again, this is why it's the most efficient way to uh, to do um, resources and to get experience because this is great. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get experience. That's gonna come up. So now we are over here and we're gonna run back over here to our build. And I wanna show you how much aluminum I got. You're gonna, you're gonna just lose your freaking mind. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go into build mode and I'm gonna go into Extractors. Now I want you to see something. Do you see that my aluminum extractor now has 504 just over an hour of sleep? That is crazy. <laughs> That's really crazy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place another extractor. We're going to place the cobalt extractor, right? And so we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to place a cobalt track and we're going to place some more power towers. So again, make sure you have enough Tuscan. And again, you, you're going to have uh, your iron and your aluminum. And we're going to now build a cobalt tower. And the same thing we did with aluminum, we're going to do with cobalt. So now, folks, we have essentially unlimited aluminum. And guess what? Our power is made out of pure aluminum. So literally, we have an endless cycle of resources. So this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and um, like I said, this is a game changer for resource extraction. So again, doing my slumber, you know, my extractor will diligently stock up on materials. And these extractors come well built with storage. So don't worry about storage. You're gonna have some, but we will get even more storage later. You're gonna have more resources than you know what to do with. And this works for you on autopilot. So while you're playing the game and you're in the missions, you're gonna always have resources available. So let's, um, and you're going to have XP available too. So you're going to be, uh, turning this into an XP machine. So now we're going to hit the view and what we need to do is we're going to go up and we need to find 
are cobalt. So again, and cobalt is not hard to find. Cobalt is right here. So again, uh, that wasn't too hard to find. Cobalt is right here. So we just need to place it right on the cobalt here. And as you see, uh, this is the vein for cobalt. So we're gonna turn this around just like that. And we're going to build a cobalt extractor. So we're gonna hit A to build. And what we want here now, we need 10 power. So we're gonna need um, some more power. So we need some more wind turbines. So let's uh, put some here in front of our cobalt here. And the wind turbines don't have to be near anything. They can just be around it. So I'm gonna put um, pretty much more than what we need. So now I have three wind turbines and now I have cobalt. And if I want to, you know, I have, since I have my aluminum working, I can actually go to bed again And when I wake up, I'll have more aluminum. So I'm gonna go again, one hour. And let's see how many, how much aluminum I have now. So again, I'm gonna go into the builder. I'm gonna go to the scanner. I'm gonna hit X to out, outpost. And look at this. I have like 585 in aluminum. So again, I am literally producing a lot of aluminum. So again, if I were to sleep longer, you're gonna see this go up. And you see my cobalt is 251. So I got 45 of aluminum. And let me just kind of show you something really cool. I'm actually gonna sleep for a little longer. I wanna show you how ridiculous this can be. So I'm actually gonna go to sleep for 231 hours. And you're gonna see how ridiculous this aluminum extractor can be. And so, I'm literally wasting resources because I need to expand the storage, but I want to show you how much storage is in this thing. So if I pull up my scanner and I go to outposts, again, look at the cobalt, look at the aluminum. I, I don't have any more space for the cobalt and aluminum, so that's why I need to create more storage to literally create more of them. So <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go and I'm going to create a nickel, nickel storage deposit. So let's go to not nickel storage, I'm gonna create a nickel extractor. So I wanna go here and I'm gonna create a nickel one. And what we need to do is we need to find a nickel vein. And we'll pretty much get all of these up. So let's see if we can find a nickel vein here. All right, and this is a nickel vein right here. So kind of going to be up a little higher. Let's see how high we can get this thing. Okay, we can get it up pretty high. So now I'm building a nickel extractor and I'm going to go and build some more wind turbines for this. And remember, we're never going to run out. And as you see, we have 471 in aluminum. So um, we're literally putting these things out like crazy. We found another way I can place this. So I think we're, we have 27 total power. And so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to extractors and we're going to put up our iron extractor. So we have iron and let's see if we can find an iron vein. And there is an iron vein right here, just a little bit outside of our area. Let's see if we can finesse this a little bit. Okay, we can get some iron. Even though we're not on the spot, we're close enough to get it. So again, we don't have to be directly on the spot. We are close enough to get iron here. So I wanna place this one here. So now we have iron. And we're gonna go do some wind turbines here. I'll do about three of these for the iron. I even I don't need three. I mean, I'm above the power that I need. So we're, we're all good to go here. So now I have 
iron. I have nickel. I can extract all my resources. Excuse my dog there. <laughs> and so I have literally unlimited resources to extract. So all I want to do is I want to take a little nap here. And I'm going to go to sleep for about, let's say, three local hours. Now, now that I have iron, nickel, cobalt, and aluminum, the next thing I am going to do is I am literally now going to go out and I'm going to build what's called a workbench. So, again, I want to take my progression to the next level and I'm going to build a workbench. And all I have to do is I can build this anywhere and we can move it later, but we're just going to build one for now. And so I want to go over to workbenches and I want to make an industrial workbench with it right there. Now, if you see, look at my aluminum, we're, we're literally at 440. We're not going anywhere. So what I need to do is I need to have a way to extract multiple uh, or more of these because what's going to happen is I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be wasting storage because yeah, even though this is a lot, I can get a lot more. So with this, the reason why we're doing a workbench is we're going to go and we're going to create some things. So what we can create is, and this is going to be the catchy part. Adaptive frames are made out of iron and aluminum. Am I ever going to run out of iron and aluminum? No. So this means I can make as many adaptive frames as I want to. These adaptive frames will be used to make storage. I can also go out here and I can make um, iso-centered magnets as well because they take nickel and cobalt. And I can make mag pressure tanks that take nickel and aluminum. So I can just make all of this stuff that requires the materials that I have. So I can make three things unlimited. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna go out here and I'm gonna craft adaptive frames. Now here's where your XP comes in. This is how you can literally uh, just earn a lot of XP. So again, during your slumber, you're extracted with diligent work to, to stock of materials. And these extractors come with built-in storage, like I mentioned, but we're gonna expand that. And the more you craft at your workbench, the more XP you earn. So literally, you'll notice that your XP bar will be rapidly filling up because watch this. If I go out here and I'm going to construct, I can make 99 adaptive frames and get 108 XP. That's crazy. And I can do that over and over and over again. But let me show you how we're going to expand on this idea. Now, the reason why I crafted adaptive frames, because we're going to need them to build extra storage. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to go inside your builder and you're going to go to storage solid because we're going to be storing solid materials. Now, here's what you want to do. You want to make as many of these as you possibly can. You can probably make unlimited of them. But remember, we're going to have to get some space to create an actual habitat here. But we're going to make some storage containers. And these storage containers will allow us to contain more and more materials. Now, remember, you don't have to store these materials because every time you go to a workbench, they're going to be stored at your base. So you don't have to store them on your person. So I'm going to sit here and make a crap ton of storage containers. And then the most important thing when you do this, you have to link them. Now, linking them means, and I wanna demonstrate this for you, you have to go to the nickel extractor and you're gonna hit the RT to create a link. You have to drag that link to one extractor. Then you hit RT again and link that storage to the next storage. So you're gonna see me link storage to storage and that's exactly what you want to do so link this storage to that storage and so forth and so on so you need to link the storage with each other by pressing one storage and pressing rt then rt to the next and rt to the next until you have them all linked up so once you have them you want to rest up and i'm going to do it three hours which is 173 hours i'm going to show you how much of the nickel that we accumulated by having extra storage containers workbench and remember we don't have to keep this material on us these materials stay in storage and the workbench will take them from storage. As you see, we crafted over a thousand nickel. So again, this will happen throughout your entire gameplay. It will happen with nickel, iron, aluminum, and cobalt, as long as you have them on this planet running this strategy. So very easy to get free material. So just do this for the rest of your material and you're gonna be able to now create the resource and experience farm. So once you go back and do this for all of your extractors, 
The next thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to create what's called a landing pad with ship builder. And this way you can place your ship inside of your outpost area. And so when you start crafting adaptive frames and things of that nature, you can actually go right to your ship. And again, you're going to be over encumbered, but literally you can craft this material, take it with you, get on your ship and go to a vendor and you can sell this unlimited. And so I'm making this kind of ship pad right here. Now, very important, check all your storage containers and make sure they have a green light on all of them. And again, if they don't, like this one doesn't here, then either you haven't let enough time go by or you haven't linked them. So again, you wanna check them all and you see, I've got a lot here and they're not filled up. So I may need to go back and relink these. So again, check all your storage containers and make sure that they are filled up with green. So I took a little nap now and I'm gonna check and see if they're all green and they are all green, so I am good to go. I know I'm storing some major, major minerals here. So next thing you wanna do is go to your landing pad and open up your ship builder, and this will automatically put your ship inside your outpost on the landing pad you just made. Now from there, you can go to a workbench and you can actually start crafting some items and you can craft them themselves so you're gonna get XP. And then if you're over encumbered, it's okay, get on your ship. And what you wanna do is you wanna to fly to the nearest vendor as you see me doing here. I'm gonna to go to New Atlantis and I'm gonna go back to the same vendor I bought stuff from. And literally you wanna sell all of your items there. And then if they run out of money, it's very simple. You can actually sit and wait for 24 hours, everything will restock and you're good to go. So folks, if you find this tip very helpful, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow us for more Starfield strategy. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Peace.